Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So we are gonna be bringing you guys along with us today because we're gonna go so for shopping. Um, I spoke about this on my Instagram. I also mentioned it in our home tour on my home channel. So if you haven't subscribed to that, I will leave the link in the description box um, if you wanna stay up to date with all the home stuff. But basically, long story short, our five month old Ikea sofa broke. Um, Ikea wouldn't give us a refund straight up. They were adamant they wanted to send someone to do a survey. The person came and did a survey, which is an independent company. And long story short, he like pretty much recommended that we don't get that same sofa. It was a manufacturer's fault. The whole like front panel of the sofa just like disintegrated. Um, and he was like, it's more to do with the design. He didn't say all Ikea sofas are bad, but he was like, I would recommend you don't get that same one, which was the Vimli. So he basically said, if you get that same sofa again, it's quite likely you'll have the same problem again whether it's in a couple of months or years down the line. So there aren't really any other Ikea sofas that I wanted. So we managed to get a full refund on that. I actually don't think that's in our bank account yet. I have to remember to check up on that, hey? <laughs> so they came and collected our sofa like nearly a week ago. And I've just been like searching online. I can't really find something that I exactly want. I'm just really struggling. I feel like I need to go and see some things in real life. I don't know if I'm just being too picky or like overthinking it. I think that is the case, but I just wanna go and look and sit on some stuff and see it, you know, in real life. But before we go, you may have noticed this massive parcel behind us. We had an exciting delivery. So I'm gonna bring it in, unbox it and show you guys what it is. You got it over do you need a hand? No, I got it, it's pretty light. It's bigger than I thought it was gonna be but we shall see what is inside. Skizzers. Lightstock.co.uk have sent us a light to go above our dining table. Right now we're bare bulbing it and it is so horrible it offends my eyes. Um, like I said, if you haven't already subscribed to the home channel, head over there, subscribe, because we've got some fun little transformations planned in the near future. One of them being the dining space. So that back wall of the dining room is like, completely bare, empty, hasn't been finished. It needs a lot of zhuzhing. And we obviously need a light fixture to go above our dining table. So, cue this bad boy. We went for, what is it called? The Nordlux. I'm just gonna get it out and show you guys because, oh, oh, I'm so excited. Right, so for above the dining table, I knew I wanted to go with something just super like minimal, streamlined, sophisticated, but also like a bit of a statement. We've got quite a big dining table and I didn't want something just itty bitty sitting above it looking all weird. So I went on lights.co.uk, they have, we ordered our bedroom light from there as well. And they have like really, really nice, unique pieces but they also just have a crazy amount of selection. So no matter what your style is, like 100% they'll have it on the website because there's so much to choose from. Oh, this is so perfect. So basically the one I went for has like a nice big plate, which goes on the ceiling. I love obviously the matte black shock. Obviously we're gonna go for matte black, um, but we went for a kind of bar one like this. So I don't even know, if, why am I wearing black? Because you can't really see it against me. It's like a really nice, big, long bar, but it's not too overpowering and chunky. And I thought my mind instantly went to like Christmas and like we could put a little bit of greenery on this, make a statement out of it. I thought it was like the perfect combination of being really minimal, but also like a nice big statement piece. So you have these 
pretty simple lights there. Um, and then you can adjust the length of it to whatever length you want. And it's just got two kind of cables sticking out. Right, I've not actually shown Steve this light. Steven? Yeah. Do you want to come and look at the light? Can I turn that? Yes. I, I would hold it up, but it's like quite big. Yeah, I like that. It's cool, isn't it? Yeah, that is cool. Got a big thing to it on the ceiling. Oh, I like it. A little bit better than the uh, than the bulb we've got there right now, hey? Yeah, it's hard hard to find something better than that. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's got LED bulbs, and it's also got three dimmable settings if you do have a dimmer switch. We don't have a dimmer switch, but I don't think we would do it anyway. Nah. But nice to have the option. <laughs> um, so yeah, really happy with this. I will leave a link down below for the exact one that we got. I think there's a couple of different variations um, that you can go for in different sizes and stuff. So definitely worth checking them out. But like I said, makeover coming soon featuring this bad boy. So. Let's head out and go look at some sofas. Time to go. Shining. Um, <laughs> yeah, we, we are going to head to the Cardiff Gate, which has a DFS. It also has a like an oak furniture land, which also does sofas. And I think it has an SCS, but I don't think SCS is our vibe. But we can go anyway. There's basically three next to each other. So, oh, and they also have an, a Natuzzi. I think that's how you say it, but not in our price range. Shiny. Yeah, I had a few people message me actually and say, um, oh, you should check out Bow Concept, it's very much your style. I totally agree, it's very much our style, but it's not in our price range. I wish I had four grand to spend on a sofa, but you don't. <laughs> we do not. So, yeah, it's a bit of a weird one because we know I'm blabbing on, I know I am. But we, we know we're not going to stay in this home forever. We would love to get a modular sofa that could we could then customise or add to or whatever for our future homes. But modular sofas aren't actually that common in the UK and they're quite expensive um, for the type of style that I'm going for. So we should swing by home so let's see if they've got any new sofas. Anyway, we're gonna we're gonna just jump in the car and we'll see whatever happens. I just need to look at stuff to help me realise what I really want in a sofa. Right, we're gonna go SCS, DFS, there's Harvey's, and oh, you can't even see Oak Furniture Land or whatever. I don't think we'll find anything in there, but we're just gonna work our way along, aren't we? Let's do it. Let's do it. You've, you've got pockets, can you? Can you thank you. Right. Small chicken nuggies. McDonald's is literally like there, isn't it? It's all round arms, isn't it? Hmm. That took all of one minute. If that, yeah. Yeah. Just not. See, that's already a vibe. Oh, that's much better, yeah. That's already a vibe. Much better. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. There's actually some nice ones in there. Right, we're about to head into DFS, but SES was not. Not, not Too many round arms. I want a bit of square. What's this one here, then? The corner group. But they do um, different makeups of them. <laughs> you look teeny tiny. I mean, I don't like those just come off, don't they? Yeah. It's like a square with a bit of a slope. These are all the fabrics. Oh, we should have bought the fabric samples that we actually like. Mm. And then we could have, that would have been smart. Mm. Yeah, I know. I've let the team down. That this bit's like greyish. It's, I don't like that bit. Look at the side of the arm. I, d I don't want one that's got all the like, um, 
buttony things. Yeah, I don't like that either, to be fair. No. I don't mind it, it's just not the vibe that we're going for. I don't mind these, obviously not the fabric, but I don't think I like the feet on it. The gold feet. Yeah, I think, because you know my last sofa was from DFS. It was, yeah. Yeah, um, and you can normally choose the colour of the feet. Don't want velvet, don't want more velvet. Bigger, more velvet? Oh, just more velvet. Uh, That's all there is. That's annoying. But I, I do like the square arms and the, just the simple lines. Oh. Oh, does it only come in leather? Oh, right, it's out of budget. What about this one? Seems quite low done. I think I saw this one online actually. Yeah? Because I think, I swear I saw this online and you have the option between scatter cushions or normal cushions on the back. I'd probably say normal cushions. Myself. Oh, that one's not too bad. It's like kind of boucle vibes. What do you think of that colour? Okay. Yeah? It's a bit bluey. Well, there is because it's got the blue underneath. It's got like a greyish undertone. Can you change the configuration? I don't think so. It's not modular. It's just a corner sofa. Mm. Now we've seen that one in Home Sense. I'm like, are these any better than that one? Your answer is no, isn't it? No. Mm. It's all right. How much is it? Is your price tag? 1350 I'd prefer it being lower, to be honest. Do you? And it's better for the dogs, because your Milo's got bad knees anyway. Yeah. <laughs> um, but... It's nice, I'm just not in love with it. Mm. Are you filming me? Sorry. <laughs> I am yeah. not. I'm not sure. There's a few more that way. Yeah. Can go look. Come there. Oh, I actually really like this. Oh, it's three and a half grand. It's comfy though. Yeah, I bet it is. Not in love with that fabric though, it's a bit shi a bit shiny. And I'm not entirely sure by those like walnut legs. If it didn't have the legs, then I'd be keen. It's obviously way bigger than what we need as well. I'd be pop, babe, we're not we're not buying that one. This one's like a brick, don't bother. Yeah. That one's got like remote controls on the side mm -hmm. and a charger. Have a sit in that and see what it does. Oh. Right. Oh. That you sold now. I think you can do the head one up and down by the looks of it. Yeah, there you go. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. That's you all over, isn't it? No, it's okay. Huh? Fine. <laughs> See you later. I'm going to home sense to buy the uncomfortable sofa. <laughs> right, so there was that one sofa that, that we thought was okay, mm. but we didn't love. So we're heading into Harvey's slash Benson's for beds. Shop number three. Shop number three. If any of you guys watched our Home Sense video, our Home Sense video, my Home Sense video, <laughs> you'll know that I fell in love with a modular sofa that was like 800 quid and it was, but it was quite firm. None of those are that comfortable though. Oh, these clothes, babe, isn't it? Furniture Alright, scrap that. <laughs> Third shop and no go, fourth shop. Let's see how we get on in here. <laughs> Ooh. 
Is that comfy? Yeah, it's modular. Oh, oh, that's quite comfy. I'm not against it. Oh, yeah, you're all right. It's a bit country style, babe. You just wait, I'll, I'll dust on my to do list. You leave that to me. I like this chair. I like the legs on it. Oh, so hot and muggy today, isn't yeah, it? Yes, that's nothing. So, we tried all four of those stores. That last one, what was it? Oak Furniture Land. Oak Furniture Land was. But they had sofas in there as well. Um, we kind of got cornered by a salesperson, which I hate. <laughs> she was really nice, but oh, I hate that. Um, so we saw one modular one, which was like nice, but the fabric was a bit weird, but they didn't do any swatches there. Um, so yeah, not that taken by anything that we've seen really. So we're gonna pop into Asda really quickly because we wanna get a few bits for lunch and stuff. And then I think we're gonna head to Home Sense. Yes? Yeah, sure. Um, <laughs> Um, so yeah, I think what I was saying earlier is that I saw a modular one in HomeSense that I really liked and I think you liked it, but it was quite firm. Um, but I feel like everything that we've sat on today has been a lot more expensive, a lot less our style. And I don't think any of them was like, oh my God, this is so comfortable. Um, so yeah, we're going to pop into HomeSense to see on the off chance if they do happen to have anything chances are slim but we may as well try um so yeah we'll we'll check back in with you guys when we're in home sense won't we my favorite shop my yankee candles in the way <laughs> okay guys so i forgot to wrap this video up at the weekend but what an unsuccessful shopping trip that was i've had like a think about some of the sofas that we even sat on in dfs oh just had a dog spring up on my lap um just not like, I don't feel like what I'm looking for is that like out of the norm, but it just seems to be a bit difficult to find. And I don't know if anyone else feels like this, but sometimes I feel like I watch a lot of Australian and American like interior design programs and they seem to just have like so much of the stuff that I want. And then I try and find it in the UK and I really, really struggle. So any recommendations, we'd ideally like a modular sofa with like square arms in a kind of like nice neutral like linen -y, cottony kind of vibe fabric um like i said before we kind of want a modular one because i just think that would be a better investment to make because it'll be scalable for when we do eventually move in the future i did actually find one i really really like from dunelm i've only seen it online but it's complete out of stock. I've been watching it for like weeks now and it's ever since our sofa broke, I've been watching it for weeks and it's still out of stock. We ordered a fabric sample. It looks a little bit creamy online, but the fabric is like perfect color. Um, it's 1,300, which is like in our budget. Um, I'll put in a photo of the one I'm talking about. It's also modular, which is perfect. Cause then obviously, like I said, if we decided we wanted it bigger, we want to reconfigure it then we can like add bits to it. Um, it's basically perfect, but it's out of stock and Dunelm have no way to like check stock or like call them a check stock or anything like that. So either I just wait for a sofa that may never come back into stock or I just keep looking. So yeah, I have also like toyed with the idea of going and getting another Ikea sofa. I know I felt like they did me dirty the first time round, but the one I originally wanted was the Kivik. Um, Steve wasn't as keen, but I think Steve coming sofa shopping with me, I feel like he now sees how difficult it is, um, which is good. I feel like he's more on the same page as me because I tend to do, he's so needy. Um, I tend to do all the shopping and stuff. So I feel like I get frustrated and it maybe Steve doesn't quite understand why or how difficult it is to get things that look a certain way and that tick all the boxes that aren't super expensive. So if anyone has a Kivik sofa, let me know in the comments what are your thoughts. Is it sturdy? Is it lasting, the, like standing the test of time? Um, and also, does anyone have any Dunelm sofas? Because I've never previously thought about getting a Dunelm sofa. So um, 
let me know. And any more kind of recommendations of like modern sofas um, that aren't going to be like thousands of pounds, let me know. Because I am still hunting. Um, I had hoped that we would have made a decision by the end of this video, to be honest. But it doesn't really seem that way. But don't forget to subscribe. I've got a lot more kind of like lifestyle fashion content coming up and also like I said before if you want more home stuff I'll probably update on the whole sofa gate over on my home channel so make sure you check that out as well but thanks for following along with our little mini fiasco I hope you guys have enjoyed this video if you have please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next one